Good day, Grade 12. Welcome to Week 26. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at electrochemical reactions. Let us join the Mindset Learn team as they introduce electrochemistry to us. What is electrochemistry? Have you ever wondered how chemicals can produce electricity or how electricity can produce a chemical reaction? Electrochemistry is a branch of chemistry that studies chemical reactions which take place in a solution at the electrode in an electrolyte. This involves electron transfer between the electrode and the electrolyte in solution. Thus, electrochemistry deals with interactions between electrical energy and chemical change and vice versa. There are many applications of this in everyday life. Batteries, for example, transform chemical energy into electrical energy. A spontaneous chemical reaction in a cell generates an electric current, and a torch is able to provide us with light. Or electrical energy can be transformed into chemical energy. Here is a safety pin that is connected to an electric source in a copper solution. Look at how the safety pin changes color. The change in color on the safety pin represents the metal atom in the solution, copper, covering the metal of the safety pin. After some time, the solution would eventually lose its entire blue color. And we will have copper-plated safety pins. This process is called electrolysis and it is just another example of the applications of electrochemistry. Electrochemical processes are redox reactions in which electrons are transferred between substances. To help us understand the concept of electrochemistry, we will join Simbulelo and Nombulelo to show us the links between electricity and chemistry. And so we will explore the links between electricity and chemistry and by doing this introduce you to electrochemistry. Electrochemistry involves two types of processes. In one process, chemical reactions produce electricity, but in the other, we use electricity to make chemical products. Thank you, Simbulelo. We can see the link between electricity and chemistry, and now we also remember all the terminology of redox reactions. In the examples of electrochemical reactions, we saw that in batteries, a redox reaction takes place which causes a potential difference and a flow of current in a circuit. And in another scenario, a potential difference causes a redox reaction to take place, such as in the electrolysis of copper sulfate. From this, we can say that an electrochemical reaction is a chemical reaction that produces a potential difference and therefore a flow of electrical current. Or an electrochemical reaction takes place when a chemical reaction is caused by an external potential difference.